Recording? Okay, yes, it's recording. So we have to start this recording over again because we're not, we're not going to start the whole recording again. But we're going to, this is part two of Eagle's <laughs> frustration. We, and um, we're going to, we, the phone, when it was recording before, got interrupted and we, um, so we missed what was being said and um, we're starting over, not starting over, we're going to keep going to finish this because we were in the middle of discussing this and it's a very sensitive issue. Uh, so I don't know how we're going to edit this together later. So, um, Uh, you, sit up. you were saying that <laughs> you were saying that I was something like that. What do you remember what you were talking about? Yes, I was talking about. I was saying that they should go rewrite their comment after finding out that it's not factually correct. They should, when they are sending their comment, they should go check and. They should go check their comment and see see if their make sure the comment is actually correct with all the things in the video, the title of the video, the words of the video. Take good take a deep breath and go just make sure you didn't miss anything. And then if they really didn't miss anything and their comment is really actually factually correct, then they can go and they can go post it. But if it is fact, uh, if it isn't factually correct, then they should go rewrite their comment. Okay, so you're having a request that they rewrite their comment in a way that yes. doesn't quote unquote insult the company that you like, or doesn't hurt them or put them down. Now. Um, and I think that's a reasonable request to ask them to uh, reword it in a more polite way or in a way that um, um, uh, is more informative and... That, that is actually correct, factually correct, and that is, yeah, there's... there's not deceiving. Not deceiving. Okay. Okay. Because because their comments might have turned away many uh, buyers from buying a very very good product, and maybe it might have made them buy even a crappier product. Uh huh. Um. I suppose that is opinion because I happen to have an opinion that light test products are very good. Um. Because they have been doing it for a while, they do take into account the needs of. Especially uh, the beginner flyers. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> Meanwhile, other companies usually don't say they build the best products. Especially considering the foam board is guaranteed to last a lot longer than balsa wood or styrofoam. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? It's easier to repair, anyways. Now, if you wanted to just comment back to this person, so, okay. I would like to reply to this person, mm -hmm. telling them that, uh, no, uh, it, it was exactly advertised, because it was never advertised as swappable. The old one was advertised as swappable because it was swappable. The new one is advertised as a mini power pod, never called swappable. And actually, it could be swappable if done right. Okay. Now, at the time, I didn't let you write it because you were very angry with how they had written it. Have they written their response? Yes. They're, they're and I want to make sure you have understanding of why they wrote it that particular way. What were they well, why feeling? Why did they write it, write it that Why were way? they... So, if they wrote something kind of negative and mean, just like you were about to call this person a negative comment, you were about to label this person in a negative way, because you were feeling... What feelings again? Uh... Annoyed or completely frustrated that they were 
I was feeling appalled and disgusted. Is disgusted an actual feeling word? Definitely is. Hmm. All right. I don't think that's a judgmental word, but okay. I was feeling appalled. Well, disgusted is a feeling, man. But it's just a face expression. Sure. Um, uh, major face expressions. I was feeling appalled and disgusted at their dislike and horrified at their their repuls repulsiveness at their deceive deception of others of their <laughs> accusing of a company that or of an organization that we really like. Um be a bit confused, uh furious Frustrated and hurt that they were that they were uh, <laughs> putting up false claims about very good company, very good, very good organizations, and they were putting them down for something that they never actually did. Okay. What do you think that person was feeling when they wrote it? I have some no idea. Well, that's what I would like. I don't know. It seems to me they were thinking, Oh, I'm going to go be an internet troll. Let's post gold troll comments everywhere because I hallucinate title names. Whoa. Yeah, Crunch. Eagle. What? The purpose of this conversation is for you to get in touch with compassion and with your ability to see from other people's perspectives other than your own because you just finished accusing them of being egocentric and not realizing that there's the center of the universe and you accuse them of not looking at it for, looking at it from the bigger picture or having more awareness yeah and, and what I'm asking from you is to have more awareness more of their... awareness not just of okay, your well, ideas. I'm confused then okay what are you confused by? Enlighten me. About? What they're, what they're feeling. Well, I wanted you to take that feelings list and make a guess of when they wrote their negative comments, what they were probably thinking and feeling. I don't know. They hallucinated the title name to be something different than what it actually is. Okay. Can we, instead of saying the word hallucinated, how about they, they changed mistake it. it. They, 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 they changed their brain, it. Their they brain cha replaced they it. They changed it to something that it wasn't. The brain so, changed to something that it wasn't. Okay. I, first of all, I would like for you to have a little bit more um, no, awareness. No, I'm not going to have compassion for them. Eagle, what I'm asking for you to have is awareness that often our human brains see things that aren't there. And you have done this yourself. Are you denying that uh, you have never, ever do made a I, mistake? Do, uh, no, I'm not. Okay. But I am thinking that usually, unless I'm very, 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 very focused, I take a look around and maybe I don't catch it immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I catch it later. Okay. Maybe I write my com Maybe if I write their shoes, I write my I write their comment, mm -hmm. and then I would uh, uh, go back up. I refresh the page, or I would see the title again and be like, "Oh wait, that's that video. Oh wait, that's that stoppable and it does it." Okay. I should go re I should go rewrite my comments. Let's let's pretend you're that person and your brain somehow inserted in that they had said that it was swappable, okay? So you go in there thinking cuz they're just confusing it with the old one. Maybe so. Maybe so. Maybe they're confusing. But so they go in with the idea Cuz they're not open to new ideas. Eagle? What? Pretend you're that person and you go in and in your head, for whatever reason, I don't know why, you have decided that they had said that it was swappable. Okay, you, your brain has made this error in judgment. You don't know any better, you just know that you think that it said that it's swappable. You haven't checked. 
You have been told that it is a certain way. And all of a sudden you find out it's not that way. And you're feeling what? When you find out it's not the way you think it should be. You know how you have a new... Oh, because okay. they were saying, in their head, they were thinking, oh, I like these type of book. Okay. And so all of a sudden it's not. Okay, and, what, and, what and it's not. Out? And so they're feeling angry that it's not shoppable. Well, then don't claim that it wasn't as advertised because it, was, it wasn't advertised as not shoppable. It was advertised, I mean, it wasn't advertised as shoppable. It was advertised as not shoppable, necessarily, or not necessarily shoppable. It was advertised as a mini power pod, shoppable, never, never stated. It's swappable and it's never, it's never stated. And My question, and, Eagle, uh, was if... I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt you because you're not answering my question. My question is not whether or not it actually said it was unswappable. My question is, if you think that they said that it was unswappable, if you have been... Unswappable? Uh, if, if you have been told... If you think that they told you a lie... Then I'd be angry they them. lied to you. Yeah, then I'd be angry at them for clickbaiting their video. Right. Okay, but they didn't clickbait the video. They never did. It's not. I'm not asking fact, what the do. facts are. I'm asking if your brain thinks that the facts are something different. You are so mad at this person that you are ready to go and write and call them stupid and, and be mean to them and put them down publicly instead of privately I'm sorry I can't do it privately there's no way to send him a message privately as far as I know there is no way to send him a message privately now if you think there is a different way there is a way to do that I have no idea of how how about you since you apparently know how to or think you do how about you show me I would be glad to show you how to send them a message. Good. But even if you send them a message privately, even if you send them a message privately, you're angry. Yes, I'm very you're angry. You're angry right. because they put a lie up on the internet. Because they put a lie on the internet and assaulted a group that I really, really like. Now let's with false with uh with false claims, all because of their insistence upon not checking, double checking the title name and double checking their facts and thinking that they're just, the, the, and, and being egocentric, all because uh, uh, that they're insulting another company because of their false claim, because of their hallucinations of the title name. Do you think that gives you the right to insult them? I'm not insulting them. I am simply letting them know the facts. I'm pretty sure I actually wrote my comments very nicely, actually. You might have. It was only matter of fact. Literally, matter of fact. But in your thinking, in your brain. Okay, what I think is not necessarily what I write. What I wrote was completely correct, not biased. And my concern was not what you wrote, but what's going on in your head. The feeling and thoughts that you're going on in your head. This is my well. Concern. I do not have any evidence to think differently that they are not that they were not hallucinating the or changing the title name to be whatever they wanted be, uh, and not checking it because they thought they were always right and they didn't need to check it. And then going and, and uh, accusing a company of uh, something that it never actually did, a turning down customers from a very very good. A uh, company that was creating a very, very good product. Part of me greatly admires. I want you to hear a compliment. Are you ready to receive a compliment? Sure. I, I admire that you want to stand up for the people that you like and appreciate and love. I admire that you want to write something that you think was wrong. And that you want to, and that, and I admire the way you did word it, trying to be gentle and trying to be uh, informative of them. That you were trying to be polite to them when you wrote to them. 
I admire that a lot. And I admire that you care. My concern First, did you receive the love and the admiration? Yes, I did. My concern is how much rage you feel when people make mistakes and react instead of responding. This guy or girl, whoever it was who wrote the comment, thought they saw a lie felt like they had been lied to, just like you were angry at and were feeling so much rage that they're lying about this company and you have a need for authenticity. This person had the same need for authenticity and felt like they had been lied to and they had been betrayed. And because the title name said Zach was advertised in the product exactly the way it actually was. But they didn't read that. Okay! Because they changed it to be whatever they wanted. Yes, they did change it to be whatever yes. they wanted. Their brand changed it to be whatever they wanted. Who's it or not, whatever you'd like to call it. I call it hallucination. You can call it whatever you would like. They changed, they had their brain changed the title name to whatever they thought they wanted it to be. So that they could feel important. And then they go and, um, because they are so egocentric and think they're always right, don't take the time to possibly check to see if they are possibly wrong, and go and post a, a comment accusing a group of doing something that it never actually even did. Yes. Thank you. You see my anger and the source I of it? I see your anger very clearly. I have Thank acknowledged you. your anger. I thought I had validated your anger. Okay, well... I thought I had said that your anger is reason maybe I didn't say it this way, but your anger is reasonable to feel angry about that. And I told you I admired that you wanted to stick up for them. Okay. Now thank you. I also want you to have understanding that this person had the exact same rage and anger when they wrote that comment. How can they possibly have the exact same anger? Rage and anger. Because your rage and anger comes from a need for authenticity. Is there another need that didn't get met? How about you look at other needs that didn't get met? What other needs didn't get met besides authenticity? Integrity, authenticity, competence, um, appreciation. Um, yeah, competence, appreciation, honesty, and uh, integrity, authenticity, and integrity, authenticity, integrity, competence, and appreciation. Okay. What I'd like for you to have is understanding. I have a need for you to have understanding. This person has a need for the world around him to have understanding of the needs he didn't get met. He wrote that comment because he did make an error. His brain did make an error. But having made that error, having thought, he thought that company was not being authentic with him because he didn't see it properly, okay? He's just reacting to the fact that and he thinks he, he's that so eager to say that he couldn't wait, happen don't to stop, to stop, to stop. You're, you're distancing yourself from him. You are, you are... Um, Show me how I'm exactly the same with him, huh? I'm or trying I'm, okay. to do that. Fine, then do it. Then do but it. in order to do that, you cannot think of him as being egocentric, because then you were being egocentric. I need for you to see it 
from his point of view, from your interpretation of what you think you're guessing his point of view might be. Possibly. Okay. Go ahead. Your feelings of rage that the person was not being competent. This guy thought that the company... Because, because he thought that he, it said swappable. Because he thought it said something that it didn't say. You're right. He should have gone and checked again. But because he didn't, he has a mindset that this company was not competent, that he was not getting his needs for authenticity. What was the other needs you listed? Acceptance. Appreciation. Appreciation. That as a customer, they were not appreciating him because they were not telling him the truth. Um, oh, okay. okay. So he feels unappreciated as the customer. He feels lied to and not getting his needs for authenticity met. He feels like this company is not being competent because they're not advertising it the way they should have. And what about, are they, uh, do they have integrity? I think they do have enough integrity to not lie to him because okay. they weren't. They weren't lying to him, but he thought that they did. Okay, well he should blame himself then, not the company. The company is not responsible uh, for him hallucinating. Remember, they are an LLC. Flight test it, LLC. Yes, Eagle. That's not the point. Okay, it's not the point. The point, the point is he can blame is, whoever he wants, I guess, huh? No, the point no, is to recognize his reaction. Because you said that you would have been okay with him wording it if he worded it nicely. Yes, if he worded it with, with facts that... If he had informed our people, if they may not polite. pay attention to the video completely. If he had done a service to people yes. by actually telling them the truth, that by informing them just in case they uh, had not properly paid attention to the video. If he instead told them, uh, just in case you haven't noticed, for your information, uh, this power pod is not is not swappable uh, like the old one. Uh, is not designed to be swappable. If he said said something like that, then you would have been willing to hear him. Then I'd be grateful for him saying it. Might find a little annoyed that you think that people are, are uh, so ignorant of or not paying attention, but whatever. He's trying to do a service. If he was doing that, but the current way, I suppose maybe he thinks like he's trying to do a service. I think. Yes, that's my point. He thinks that he's trying to do a service, but he's writing with such rage. Well, maybe I should remind him to take a deep breath, step back, and pay attention to the world around him some more. Maybe. Maybe he will change about his comment, because he will now realize that, oh wait, the title was correct all along, it was advertised just the way it is correctly, and he's the one who needs to take a deep breath and check back and stop lying to himself. Okay, sounds good. How about a good word to, to post to them? I suppose I can reword my post my comments a little bit to be slightly nicer, but well, what I wanted was that before you go writing any comments, before you tell someone something, just like you said that you want this person to go back and check the... I think I did check, go back and check. Okay, just like you want that person to go back and check, what I was asking you to do is to, before you write to someone, to go in and check to find out why they wrote something, what so they were feeling. So, go guess what their feelings were. I have no way of knowing that it actually was a feeling. That's true. That's true. You don't. You don't. But I all, always want, when you before you address someone, especially publicly on email or in a forum, even if it's privately, before you addressed anyone out in public my request and this is the reason why i'm making this video too is because i want to share this request to the whole wide world that before people go 
trolling, as you said, or putting out hatred, or putting out anger, or putting out reactions. Just like you were just going to react to this person, even though you no, reacted I, politely. I agree. I reacted, and then I did take a deep breath. And even if I had posted it before coming to you, I still would have taken a deep breath and made sure I checked. You made sure you checked what? I, may, I would have gotten up, stretched for a second. Uh-huh. And then if I... I uh, would check, come back, make sure I read his his post properly, mm-hmm. make sure I read my theme properly, mm-hmm. and then posted it. Okay. Now, I also have the habit of coming to you to make sure that uh, you think that, to, to find out what your guess of his opinion is going to be, because I trust your guess of his uh, reaction to be slightly more, uh, more accurate than my guess of his reaction. Okay. I think that you did do everything you asked for him to do, Okay. I think you did Good. do you. exactly you which you asked him to do, which was to uh, check, double check. You just you just informed me that you did the things that you were requesting him to do, which is to go back and check to see what it was, okay? And I'm very proud of you for that. It's a high five for that, okay? High five that you did that. High five that you made an effort to make it polite, and you were doing the things that you were asking this other person to do. Thank you for that. I am asking you to take a step further than what you were asking him to do and what you did. And I'm asking you to do what I'm trying to do. Which is to try uh, to see, try to guess what his, his... To try to have understanding. Like when oh, you, I, I saw your rage, I was trying to get understanding of... When you used the word stupid and anger and you were reacting with so much feeling to try to get you to understand where those feelings were coming from, why you felt them, what needs weren't getting met, and then to go and even step even beyond that of this other person. So my request to that other guy would be, okay, you feel like the company lied to you. I would want him to go, well, what's going on with the company? Why did the company write it this way? Um, what needs were the company trying to get met? Uh, helping their customers feel happy, which is why they didn't write a lie. Duh. But, and remember, he thought it was a lie. He read us read it. You have to allow for human. Okay, error. well, obviously you go and check and take your deep breath and walk around before you and go check back and make sure just to save some time before you go and uh, try to find out what they're what they're what they're feeling. I would also like to point out to you that the human and I don't know where I haven't I don't have the studies to show you this, but somewhere I have read about studies that show that a lot of times when you make an error. If you go back and check, you're going to see the same error over and over exactly, again. Exactly, which is why you go and stretch or take, take a deep breath and stretch. And so it may it. come, he may, he may see your post to this and go back and look and go, Hey, buddy, you're right. Right. It was written the way so, you think it was. You know what's also a possibility, Eagle? What, I'm misinterpreting? Well, the, yes, that's a possibility, too. But maybe the company saw the error and fixed the error, because you can go back on your YouTube videos and uh, but see, re-edit them. I don't, them. I don't see why they uh, would have labeled it for solvable in the first place, because it isn't solvable. In fact, they explicitly say in the video that it isn't necessarily solvable. Okay. So I don't, I don't see much of why they. Uh, I mean, maybe when they first posted it, they might have done it, but they first posted it about two or three years ago. His comment was made four months ago. There's also a timestamp on the comments. That's that's true, but I'm saying maybe I know I'm pretty sure that this flight that the flight test did not go back and re-edit their right. title. But I want you to consider that that is always a possibility. It is a possibility that when I didn't when I wasn't looking, they might have changed it, uh-huh. or I might not remember properly what it originally looked like. Right. Okay. Those are possibilities, and but also just the awareness that other people's brains. He probably went back and checked. Maybe he did go back and check originally, and he just saw the same error. Right. Okay. Okay. So when you go back and check, check after you've taken deep breath to help center yourself, just to make sure that any that it's less likely for you to see the delusion.
and and that's great and and maybe he will with the help of your comment go back and see that and maybe he will go back and reword it um, although if he only watches part of this video I am for seeing this video to him maybe now you'll comment in such a way to help him maybe you can politely say uh, I think you might have made an error in what you saw, how about you go and take another look, or something like that. I don't know, I can change my comment, I can look at my comment and change, see if I can change it a little bit, make it sound a little nicer, but... Did you hear what I just requested you to ask, though? For me to tell him, uh, for you to ask him, hey, I think you might have made an error, um, but no, I know that he made an error. I know that he made an error. Right, but do you think that if somebody is going to go, oh, wait, this person is telling me I'm wrong, do you think they're going to continue to listen to the next sentence? Or if they go, hmm, there's a possibility that I might be wrong, well, let me check and verify myself. I don't know, okay? When, do you remember when Daddy used to tell you you were wrong, and you would flip out because he said you were wrong, and he, you didn't listen to a single thing he said after that? No, actually, I would listen. He just never would tell me anything of value, so I would, well, discarded all the information right. that he did tell me, which is, was useless. I don't agree with that statement. A lot of times he did give you information of value. That was actually explaining why he was wrong, or why I was wrong. Um, he explained to me why I was the wrong. The instances I'm thinking about were in math problems when you were younger. So it's quite possible you don't remember what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, well, I explained to him exactly why he's wrong, or why I think he's wrong. Okay. Yes. But and actually, I do not particularly actually say you're wrong, at least not in the first sentence anyways. Okay. But when I said it, I think you're wrong, you reacted to the statement, no, I won't say I think he's wrong, he is wrong. If you put it that way, no, okay, he's I, not likely to listen I'm to fine you. saying I think you're wrong. But actually, if anything, uh, I, if I said that, he definitely would listen. Okay, you're, maybe you're right. I, I'm, I'm the only thing I'm opposed to is telling him I'm saying a statement, but I'm probably wrong. Which is what I would be saying by saying, I think you made a mistake. And actually, hold which on. Which is way too gentle of a reminder. The way it's just I, too gentle of a reminder. That's the, the problem. The, the way I worded it didn't say anything about mistake or wrong or anyways. The way I worded it is, I think you need to go back and ship. I think That's maybe not how you actually might... worded it. You no. it were how you worded it originally. Or my interpretation of how you worded it mm -hmm. was, uh, I think you might have made a mistake. It was, that, was the, that was my first word. Do you think you said something else? If I did word it that way, then I apologize. Okay. Um, what I'm thinking now is that to say, I think maybe you might want to go and take a look again at the title or rewatch it because I was not able to find the. Uh, accusation that you were making, or the words are, I don't even like the word accusation. I was not able to find the... At this time, I'm not quite wanting to do that. What, what, what would be the right word to fill in that blank? Yeah, the accusation. You no, but something better and nicer than that. He's making an accusation. Of that your com uh, your, how about your comments or something? I asked you to come up with a nicer phrase than accusation more polite. Please go rewatch the asking him your request your request is for him to go and rewatch the video, right? Or relook at the title? No, I'm requesting him to re word his 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 comment or completely it if anything. Okay. If he was right being asked to delete that comment to me, actually, if I was in his shoes, actually asking, what? if I was in his shoes and I was right about them lying to me, being told that I should reword it, I would look at you and go, whatever, because this company just lied to me and I want to uh, tell them off. I agree, but they did not just lie to him. Okay, so I think what when you were listing off earlier, you said that you wish this guy had gone back and rechecked. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I'm saying you need to convey to him well, politely. Well, I, I don't know. I suppose I could try to, to reword my comments to do that. But I'm pretty sure I like my comment right the way it is. And I do not understand how it is uh, 
that negative. And well, well yours, the way you're wording your thing, it seems just way too gentle. How do you have it worded right now? I am currently just telling him the facts. No bias, me, no just nothing, me, just wait, the facts. I'm not asking Matter for your opinion of what you wrote. I'm asking for what you wrote. I'm not really sure the exact thing I wrote. It's been like uh, it was. It's not called the. It's not called swappable power pod. It's called the mini power pod. The old one was called swappable because it wasn't you swappable. Think that you could pull it out and let us see what you wrote. Were, were okay, writing. sure. So we're gonna take a break for a breathe for a minute. Like he's gonna go and get it. If you are listening to this, and I know that these conversations take a long time, and I'm going to do a body check in myself. If you disapprove of my methods for teaching awareness and compassion, I apologize. Do you think you could do that over here so that um, it can be part of the video, Eagle? Either that or I need to put a pause on the video. I see how you have it worded so far. Um, okay, so do you see the explanation mark? Here? Uh, it's not this. Why would you this? Oh, sorry. Is that your original reaction? To what? Oh, is that his reaction? Mommy, this is a completely different video. Don't you see the link above it? Eagle. Again, I'm just quickly looking, and this is what caught my attention, all right? Okay, well, how does that have anything to do with power pods? It does not have the word power pod or flight test or solvable anywhere in it, does it? Eagle, all I did was read the first half sentence and nothing else. Okay, good. Well, now you read the correct sentence, right? No, I just would like you to be more gentle when you talk to me. Eagle... Do you respond well when people talk to you angrily, or do you people you respond well when people talk to you gently and want to hear what you have to say and want to hear how your brain thinks? When they want to hear how I'm thinking, probably. Okay, the same thing applies to everyone else. We all just want you to try to understand how our brain thinks and have empathy and compassion for us. You are always telling me to tell everybody at the end of these videos to practice the golden rule. Is that correct? Yes or no? Yeah, okay. So I don't understand how I'm not telling... I'm, Just now I'm, you got after me in a way that was not following the golden rule. I'm sorry, okay. I suppose. Thank you for apologizing. Wait, they are not called swappable. Okay, so, um, the way you begin, would you I see I it sounds sort of like an attack of whatever he's saying, instead of connecting I with suppose. him first? And so my request is that you connect with him so that he can listen and hear what you have to say. And I will know that you're doing that if you're typing gently on the keyboard. I am. As hard as I, um, when you slam your thumb. Sorry, into it. if you think I'm not typing gently, I am typing as gently as I can. Thank you. Maybe you're not. Please don't complain. I'm not trying to complain. I'm trying to point out awareness that my observation was that you did not seem calm and gentle to me. Well, no, I'm not because I 
Uh, if you find the one, you can me. All right, can you put the computer to the side then? No, I'm in the middle of typing something! And I asked you earlier to not type until you were feeling calm and gentle. And I was really typing, I gentle. Okay. And then while I was in the middle of typing, you got after me. For doing something that you think I was doing even though I was not doing it at all. Okay. I was not trying to get after you. I was trying to point out to you that when you slam your thumb into the keyboard like that, it sounds like to me from my observation. Okay, good. That you're I'm glad it sounds to you like that. So, would you care enough to make an effort to try to tap the keyboard light more lightly? Okay, sure. I don't know. The reason why I'm asking that is because I am looking for confirmation that you are feeling gentle when you write. I am looking for observations and confirmation that your heart is coming from a compassionate, gentle space. And I also was not Thank asking you. you to type right now. I was asking for you to share with us what you had written so far. So can you do the request, the original request, and not take the time to retype it right now? I'm not retyping it. But just read I am doing your original or your, 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 your new request that overrides the old request. Your new request being that I make the beginning sound a little more opening and less like an attack. A little more open, less like an attack. Um, I just wanted to point it out to you. I didn't ask you to do it right now. I just wanted to discuss it right now. I don't want you to actually act right now. Can you please spot me or something? I know you are feeling some emotion right now, and I asked you just a second ago, do you feel like I'm attacking you? I would like to put the computer away so that I can reassure you that I don't want well, to when you put your computer away, it's because you're feeling out of control. What makes me feel out of control as well? Okay. Then let us both take a moment so the computer doesn't get hurt in the process of taking a moment to reconnect with each other and so that the technology, remember how I okay, said the you rule can, is you can, whenever you we can, are feeling You angry, can stop putting your hand with the computer, that way I feel safe. My hands are over here. Oh, I'm sorry, they were next to the computer. Can you please remove the computer so I can feel safe too? You can ask me very nicely if you'd like I'm to I'm asking you very nicely to move the computer because when you are upset, I do not feel safe when technology I do not feel safe. I do not feel like our technology is safe when either you or I are upset. Okay, and so you'd like to move it over to someone else? Please. Okay, thank you. I suppose I can do that. You see how asking nicely and not putting a time limit on or uh, a uh, some sort of condition or, or um, makes it gets much better responses? Yes. I Good. Can. can I give you a hug? I love you. so much. said about the, did I see how asking me nicely and connecting with you first helps it 
so that you can, so can you apply that? I'm asking you to apply that with this person that you're writing to. Which is why I am trying to rewrite, it, rewrite it beginning so that it sounds more open to like more open to hearing the rest of it. Thank you. Now, okay. then you got upset because I was pointing out to you that I, I would like for you to have awareness with the keyboard that the way I can tell whether okay. or not you're being loving and gentle from your heart is when it's expressed in your body. Because remember how right. important our body language What we do with our bodies expresses what's going on in our heart. And so when I hear a slamming keyboard or a thumb, maybe it wasn't, you're just you're just a habit of doing it, but when I hear it, I think that, uh-oh, you're not at a place of calmness and loving when you're writing. chance do you feel a little bit calmer and gentler towards this person that wrote that statement? Maybe a little bit more compassion for him? If he wasn't just some trolling idiot, then yes. Uh, again, I'm having problems with the word. Oh, uh, <laughs> the, any kind of negative accusation, Eagle, I'm, I'm having difficulty with hearing I'm sorry. It, Labels. Okay, so then, is it, what do you find it as an idiot then? Yeah, regardless of whether or not people are idiots or stupid or cheaters or liars like or whatever. Them, what do you like me to label them as? I want you to not separate yourself from them and condone them and judge them to be whatever label it is. I'm asking you to get in connecting to the beauty in their hearts and the beauty in the hearts of the world around you. Especially if you're going to interact with them. If you're not going to interact with them, you're going to think your thoughts, and if you never have any say in their lives, you can judge them how you want. But if you're going to be interacting with someone, and this is what I want from everybody else, this is what I want from me, that when people interact with me, I don't want them to judge me. So many people judge me, Eagle, as crazy or silly or idiotic or stupid or insane or diseased or or um, whatever negative thoughts that I've ever been accused of. And what I want from them is to take the time to see my perspective, to have compassion and empathy for my feelings, and that's what I want and to see the beauty in my heart of how much I do care and how much this person cared and how much the quote-unquote stupid person cared or how much the quote-unquote uh, idiotic person cared. And that their brains just happen to make mistakes. And they're so busy reacting to the mistake that they saw and they heard. And I want you to recognize that all that rage you felt, that person was probably feeling, except they didn't know how to be polite. And when I now glanced at your email, even though it was on the polite side, all that rage and anger you were feeling still did come out. And that's the reason why I asked, and my request is that before you write to anybody, and this is my request to everyone, before they divorce anybody, before they separate themselves from anybody, before they interact with anybody. Do you ever notice that when I get to a calm state first and then I choose to interact with you, it's a lot better than when I react negatively and interact with you when I'm coming from an angry state. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that the world, if you want efficiency in the world, if you want him to hear you, if you come from a state of anger, no matter how polite you make it, chances are he's not going to hear you. He's only going to hear the anger. You can write, you could write, blah, 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 blah
It Why doesn't matter. You said it's not because you don't know. If you are writing from a state of anger, but most times people only hear the anger. If you're writing from a state of love and compassion and empathy and kindness and gentleness and 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 like you're okay, it's okay, and reassurance, then the person hears the reassurance and hears the invitation and hears the love. Okay, so you're, so you're saying you, you're going to start off nicely, and I'm saying yes, I'm going no, to do that. I'm saying that I want your state of being to be nice. That way, I'm more likely to write a nice sentence. That's right. If right. you are thinking of them and you are judging them as idiotic, if you are judging if them, if they as are a troll, then I am or trolling people even, and and having fun at people's expense or or just putting out negativity randomly, then I am going to be upset at them, and I do think them as idiotic. Yes. Um. Because I mean, okay, fine. You give me a different word then. I think of them very mean then, okay? And yes. yes, they are egocentric if they're having fun at people's expense and just throwing out negativity to hope that they might have a little fun then. This is all accurate. Okay, good. Then I'm allowed to call them egocentric if they are trolling people. But if he is just very concerned and angry about his about what he thought the title was because he has a stressful life and happens to misread stuff lots of times, then, well, I have compassion for him and would like to enlighten him to uh, how it actually is. I missed a sentence in there because I was having a thought of my own. What? Um, I'm not sure if I can, it was an important thought too and I'm not sure if I can hold on to it. my thought and don't react to my thought yet let me finish my thought all the way through okay. my thought is that if you yes all those things and thoughts and judgments and whatever might be accurate probably are accurate but if you write to him with that judgment and label and perception, then I have two thoughts on this. Part one is then you're just reacting just like him. You're not responding. Well, I'm not uh, thinking of him as a troll right now. I'm thinking of him as I'm uh, not making the assumption that he's a troll right now. I'm making the assumption that he is just feeling he was just being stressed out and wasn't quite paying attention well enough to the, to the video for some reason or other and misread the title and is a little bit upset and just doesn't take the time to, to, to check. I am excited to hear that you are feeling more compassionate and empathy towards the possibility of him just being a human being like you who made an error. Okay. That is exciting for me to it, hear that. Okay. But well, I'm gonna take a moment and feel some excitement that you were like that. Okay. Um. And I think that you are getting the message that if you see him as a human being like you, you're more likely to write something that he will listen to. Right. And. I appreciate that you're hearing that message. Thank you. I think originally, when you wrote the message, you did think of him as a troll and as a hateful, mean person. Maybe, yeah. And if I have tons of evidence to support, <laughs> to support an assumption that it is a troll, that he is a that X Y Z person, you know, he necessarily but some other person is a troll, then I'm going to talk to them like they're a troll. Or think of them as a troll if they, I have a reasonable amount of evidence to th if I have a reasonable amount of evidence to prove that they are a troll, then I'm going to think them of just that. If I do not have enough evidence to support that claim, though, then I'm going to use Oscar's razor, Oscar's razor, whatever, whatever it's called, and make the least assumptions possible. Occam's razor. Occam's razor. 
I am excited to hear that you are going to try to make the least assumptions possible. Okay. I don't think you. that's what Occam's razor is. Yeah, it's in science, it's, well, it's from what I've heard so far. It's, it's the <laughs> simplest path is the, the it simplest says explanation. The right, the right explanation is probably the one that has the least assumptions and these air points put in, these assumptions. So, the assumption that uh, your pink dragon floats, that you, you have a pink dragon in your, in your uh, what do you call it thing, I and it floats and it's invisible, and it also has an interdimensional portal, which is why I can't see it, I is uh, just too many assumptions. I might as well just assume that, I might as well just make less assumptions and just assume that it's not there at all. I had always thought that it Occam's razor was the simplest explanation is probably the right one. Maybe that's that's part of it. I don't know for sure. Yeah. I know we've already been talking for <laughs> almost an hour. Probably. Yeah. But I do want my end goal eagle. And I've done this lesson several times about we, I don't know if we ever published the video about how to deal with the bully. Um, I think it was a podcast that... Audio video, audio one, yeah. On audio one, so... I think I've, I've, oh yeah, I will do that later. And we can maybe, um, post a link to that on here. Can you sit back up, please? This is my um, but my end goal, Eagle, is that to help give you tools. There are many different tools of how to deal with trolls and bullies and hateful people. Not mythical trolls, by the way. We're talking about, you know, human trolls. Yeah. Um, and a lot of it is just ignoring them or taking them off as a moderator. You take just to remove them from the list. And usually that's the traditional way of dealing with them. But if you are going to have one-on-one -on -one interaction with somebody who is a troll or hateful or a bully, although in probably most cases they are feeling so much hatred and anger themselves that nothing you could say really will help them. Um, and although I'm kind of wary of the whole idea of feeling empathy, because they have so much pain and anger inside of themselves that make them that way. Sith of forums. Sure. Yes. <laughs> the, the noobs are the are the gargar the gargar Jar Jar Binks of forums, and trolls are the Sith of forums. Sure. And it is painful dealing with them and. It would be nice if they didn't <coughs> exist, but the point of the reason why they exist is because, and this is what I want for all people to understand, that bullies and narcissists and psychopaths, and I know I'm going to have a million people go, that's not true, what I'm about to say, but all of them happen to be human beings, <coughs> just like you and me. Yep. At the end of the day... They have human DNA, they have hearts, they get hurt, and maybe their brain works differently than ours do, but they do work in the same way in that if you attend to their needs and their feelings and the beauty and recognize and appreciate the beauty that's in their heart underneath all of their hatred and selfishness and egocentricness or whatever it is, that you are more likely to get better results and even possibly save your life and protect the people around you by helping them get their needs met in a kind and gentle way. And you can't do that if you're judging them to be trolls and hateful and mean and bullies and distancing yourself from them. The only way you can reach them is if for a moment you take off that label and recognize that they're just 
like you in that they're human, they have hearts, they feel feelings.